Hey guys, it's Jolene from Smith's Nature Friendly Farms. We're hanging out in the kitchen today and then tomorrow we are off to the Rocking Railroad Festival in Hazelhurst, Mississippi. So what I thought I would do was give you guys a bit of a rundown on what we do to prepare for our market and then give you a little bit of view into us at the market. So getting ready to go to a market is pretty much a three-day event. The market is just one day, uh, Saturday in this case, but yet it takes me at least three days to fully prepare for it. And it's even more tedious when the garden is in full swing. So for this particular market, we don't have a full garden going yet, like the garden is growing, but nothing's really come to fruition yet. So we're still in the process of you know, waiting for that to come. But that doesn't mean I don't go to markets. I have a lots of other products that I've tested and are true and I bring those to market so that I can keep going throughout the year as often as possible. So what I thought we would do is let's take a look at some of the things that I'm doing for this particular market. I'll show you my table set up uh, tomorrow and we'll, we'll just get some insight. Let's see what I do. And if you have any feedback along the way or you have better ideas on how I could be better at the market, comments down below, I welcome them all the time. All right, so one of the things we do on the Wednesday before say a Saturday market would be any of the items that are have some shelf life on them. So for example, these are my tried and true croutons that I make and they are seasoned and dried and they have a good shelf life on them. We have um, herb salts that I make in advance and pepper jellies and apple pie jams. So I will spend Wednesday getting all the shelf items with shelf life ready and good to go. So that's done ahead of time and before the rush. So the Thursday beforehand, the day is spent making all of our baking recipes and all the starts. So a lot of our recipes are a two day process. They require the ability to build up yeast or get that sourdough taste or whatever it is that we're making requires the extra day to process it. So we spend quite a bit of time creating our little mixtures setting them aside so they can sit overnight, some in the fridge, some on the counter, and then I have to label each one so I don't forget which one is which, because some of them look very much the same. So that is what Thursday is spent doing. Now on Friday, Friday is a busy day. Friday is the baking day. All the recipes take a fair bit of time. We try to maximize our time by, you know, while stuff is baking, we are doing other things like printing business cards or loading the truck as much as possible, getting our stuff ready. But today is a big day all about baking. So for example, today we started our pretzels. The pretzels are a fantastic seller at the market. We do little samples in individual containers. The individual containers ensure like like food safety practices, not multiple people touching things and then trying to eat them and that. So I highly recommend these. You can get these little containers at Walmart. You can certainly get them online, but Walmart, it's just as easy to get them and you get them the same place. You kind of get your napkins. Um, I think sometimes they're with the Ziploc bags and that. So these are our pretzels that we're making today and we'll package them all individually and have labels on them as well. I'm not sure if you can really truly see the beauty of this when it's already packaged, but this is our artisan cinnamon raisin bread. So we will have uh, a couple of these ready for sale at the market tomorrow. These are our bagels complete. Looking fabulous, ready for the market. All right, guys, it is 5 a.m. on Saturday. It is the market day. I have my Be Friendly, Be Kind juice. So I am doing my last minute thing, packing up a few things, letting the dogs out, and getting ready to go to the market. So we are off to do that today. We're gonna check out the market and I'm gonna show you how I cram this vehicle in. It's amazing how I get stuff together, it's like a puzzle. And then we are gonna head out. The truck is loaded down. I usually can't get it back the same way I got it all in there. Yes, there is a steep out on my plants. 
and we put all the tables and the other stuff in there so we are full ready for the road right, guys we are here i only had one turtle to rescue on the way i'm looks like i'm like the first person here like not first person like first vendor here so that's nice lots of peaceful setup but i'll give you a quick pan That's the start of our booth. And this is the street in Hazelhurst that we're hanging out on for the day. Hope it's a good one. All right, guys, we are all set up. I've got the table ready to go. Other people are getting set up, so I thought we'd give you a show of the table. He's number one, but so this is our booth. We have an opening sign to help bring people in. We always have plants, hence the iwetmyplants.net. We have our signature pretzels, bagels, all these, you know, hard to find recipes that we've mastered and like to bring out. And these are, these are winners. We're super proud of these. These Susan, seasoned croutons, one of the best neighbors ever taught me how to make croutons. We've modified the recipe slightly to make it more Southern, but it is just an absolute tasty, tasty crouton. Some of our gourds. Always important if you have a table, make sure you have your information highlight that you are on YouTube and other social media channels and have cards. I run out of cards almost every time. I use a lot, you'll notice a lot of signage. The signage helps customers just know what they're looking at. A lot of these things sometimes are weird to customers. These are our loofahs that we grew and processed. And we do have some products that we purchase to sell and those are just to ensure that there's always something on the table when you can't always like keep up stock they tend to last a little longer they don't sell out like breads do these are herb salts Right, guys our market is complete it was a fairly long day from 7 until 4 so the poor doggies were dying for me to get home but it was an interesting day as well uh, on the way there we had a turtle rescue on the road and then once at the market there was lots of energy lots of music uh, the crowds weren't as big as some of the other markets we've experienced this year um, but there was a lot going on in basically like the cities all around us the small towns all around us so it was pretty everybody was competing for outdoor shopping basically so a little bit of a tough day in that sense we came home with bread uh, in the uh, from the table so um, not always the best because there's a lot of work involved in that bread but at the end of the day it is what it is and we just march on somebody will eat it my neighbors definitely benefit from it and my other neat cool thing from today was one of our customers gave me this <laughs> it's an origami ring it was the cutest thing we were standing there talking and he had some very interesting theories and he was telling me all about it and somebody bought something and handed me two crisp one dollar bills and he said can I trade you for the the one dollar bills and I said okay sure so I gave him the two new one dollar bills and he gave them back to me in a ring <laughs> people are really cool I really appreciate that. So that was my awesome thing out of today. Really, really awesome. So that's it, guys. That's a, one of our first markets. I'll certainly do another video when we do our kind of our more regular markets at the Brook, Brookhaven Farmers Market when we actually have veggies. And uh, we'll check that out as well. So as always, be friendly, be kind.